Today we're going to learn how to solve for x. Algebra is all about figuring out an unknown value in an equation. Our key strategy is to rearrange the equation so that the unknown value is by itself on one side of the equal sign. We want to get the unknown value by itself and all of the known values on the other side of the equal sign. In this case, we'll use addition or subtraction to rearrange the equation. Before we get started, there is one really important thing that we have to remember. Equations must be balanced. Like a scale, values on both sides of the equal sign must be the same. Both sides may not look the same, but if their values are the same, the equation is in balance. Remember, whatever we do on one side of an equation, we have to do the exact same thing to the other side of the equation. How to get the x on one side by itself? You see an x plus 7 equals 15. 7 is being added to x. If we subtract 7 on that side, that leaves x by itself. Are we solved? No. The equation is out of balance. We have to subtract 7 on the other side in order to bring the equation back into balance. Once that is done, we can see that 15 minus 7 is 8. x equals 8. We can check our work by adding 8 plus 7 to see if 8 plus 7 equals 15. Is this true? Yes, this is true. Let's try another. x minus 5 equals 12. We need to get the x by itself, so we add 5 to that side of the equation. In order to balance the equation, we add 5 to 12 on the other side. 5 plus 12 equals 17. x equals 17. Let's check our work. Is 17 minus 5 12? Yes. Next time, we will solve equations using multiplication and division.